Yeah. So that the person's um, um, uh, want uh, to protect the environment because they see it as a manifestation of God's love. Yeah. And so to you know, to stop that uh, six lane highway coming in, how would you see see that, or is it just the fact that everything? Can you see that there was just right there? There was different things happening. Right at the first part of your question, you were in this state. Your, your own feelings were in this state of yeah, loving the environment and so forth. Yeah. As soon as you went to the emotion of stop, as soon as I want to oppose something, what am I now doing? I'm now setting up a different emotion within me. What's the emotion within me? Yeah. Fear. It's a fear-based emotion. Well, the, um, only in the sense that you know, one would see the impact that the road would have on the environment that's been um, affected. But I'm saying if all of your emotions were pristine about this issue, no one's going to build a six-lane highway. Well, of course, because, because you won't attract it. Well, it's not just me singularly. That you, you're asking everybody to be in that place in order for nobody to think about creating a six-lane road. But there, is, you know, there are people thinking that. So what do the people who not, don't have that thought mean to do? Just say, oh, well, that's okay. Let the six-lane road come in. See, what? yeah, I, I, I feel that totally. I'm not, what I'm saying is every time you put energy into fighting something, you are actually creating more fear. And we'll talk about emotions and how, what they create in a minute. Um, but this came up last night actually when we were in Burnie too. For those of us that were there, there's a few here that were there. Um, let's look at what happens. We often have right at the top level some anger, right, about an issue. Right? So if, if, if many of you thought about a six-lane highway coming into here and really let yourself think about and feel about it, you'd feel quite angry. I'm angry that my environment's getting dis damaged. I came here to, to stop environments getting damaged. I want, you know, this, and, and so straight away there's some anger. Anger covers some fear within you. So understand that every time you're angry, there's something going on inside of yourself. Not... It's got nothing like in the in the first century. I said someone can come up and punch you in the face, and you can not be angry about it. And in fact, I said, "What you see?" I said to turn the other cheek. Yeah. Right. Now, why did could I? How could you do that? Because you'd have to be you'd have to be in a pretty good state of love for that, don't you think? Yeah. You'd have to be in a state where where someone can hit you, and there is no emotional feeling inside of you except the feeling of love for that person in that act. But why did they hit you in the first place if you didn't have fear within Well it you? might be because of their their condition. Their fear. Their fear. See often a person in a truth attracts people in fear. Mm. So you may be in truth and you'll attract people in fear in your life as a result of that. Because what do they need to get rid of their fear? Truth. truth. <laughs> That's why you attract them, right? So, so this is where you'll need courage, because... So, so the better you get, the more problems you attract. No, it's not that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that way. That was just a bit of a real... Yeah, the truth is, the law of attraction works really well in the sense the more you clear out of your soul, the less you attract. But that doesn't mean in the end you're not going to attract nobody coming up to hit you, because a lot is dependent upon their condition too. Right? Because we shouldn't react. Uh, it's not about not shouldn't react. I'm not saying it's, it's not about shouldn't react. Or it is better not to react. I'm not saying that either. No. What I'm saying is you won't even have a feeling to react. Yeah. There's a big difference between those three statements, isn't there? Mm -hmm. The first two require an effort. The third one requires no effort on your behalf. You just love and breath. You just love, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, to get to that stage, all of the emotion that's underneath needs to be released. So that under our anger is some fear. Under the fear is some... What might be under the fear? Might be some uh, grief, maybe, right? So let's say they did put in a big highway into here. How would you feel about the destruction of the environment, really? But after you deal with your anger, I mean, let yourself get rid of the anger. In other words, imagine you had you could do nothing at all about it for a moment. What would you feel? Grief. Sorrow. Sorrow. Just sorrow, grief, wouldn't you? There'd be a deep sorrow and grief. What's that? That's in you already from emotional damage from childhood and everything. So it's got to be related to something going on when you were little. 
right, for that to be in you. Because the truth is, if they build a six-lane highway into my property, right, I would not feel those sor that sorrow and grief, because I know that I can create anything I want somewhere else. So I wouldn't feel that myself. So there has to be some grief that I've let go of to get to that point. Because I, I, in, in the past, I certainly would have felt that. Right? And now I don't. Let's go deeper than the grief. What might be under the grief? What, why might I feel so much sorrow about my particular space being destroyed in that way? And even I might view it as the, my particular space is the earth. Why do I feel that about the earth? Self-protection. Okay, some, some, some more basic things, right? Oh, security. Yeah, so safety, security, and all those kind of things might be deep childhood emotions that I've never experienced. Right? I felt unsafe, insecure, controlled all the time. Powerless. Powerless all the time when I was a child. Mm. And because of that, I have this grief in me already. Does that make sense? And then, because of the grief, and I don't want to feel the grief, because who cries about a road? Well, some do, but not many people are allowed to, are they? So I get into my anger then. And then we, then we want to take action. The actual desire to take action comes from our desire to suppress our fear, which comes from our desire to suppress our grief, which comes from our desire to actually suppress the core emotion that was created when I was little. And if I release that, not only will all of those other emotions disappear, but also, I will no longer attract that event. 